Hi guys. Hi guys, I am back. For those that noticed, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you're seeing my face for the first time, I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I took a one month break. Is it up to a month? I filmed my last video 1st of August, yeah, and this is month end, so yeah, I can say a month, even though I won't upload this video till September, which is just weekend. <laughs> but yes, guys, I am back. I had to take a break. I First of all, I started a new business, which I thought, you know, I can juggle everything together, but all of a sudden, instead of feeling overwhelming and... I just wasn't in the mood to stay in front of a camera and talk. I just, I'm a shy person. Don't forget how I come here and I do blah, 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 blah. I'm a shy person. So sometimes I like to keep to myself. I, I call myself an introverted extrovert, if that makes any sense. As much as I love to go out, I love being in my space. I love just staying indoors. You know, I'm not, I don't really see myself as a people person. I just want to be by myself with my own thoughts, you know so that i don't know i just like being by myself so for a minute i just didn't you know feel like talking because this feels like i'm talking with you guys and i didn't feel like talking with anybody so i had to take that break and wow but now i am back and i want to talk about something i've been thinking of lately the things that i know now that i wish i knew 10 years ago if you've been following me you know that i just love 30 as a matter of fact i uploaded my first um video on youtube on my 30th birthday and lately i've been thinking like some things will just happen and i'll be like oh damn if only i knew this 10 years ago i probably i'm not i won't, I won't say i'll be in a better place right now but you know i feel like life would be a lot easier if i knew some of the things that i know now my 20s was a lot especially my early 20s i had so much fun i was in school i gained admission into university 19 going 20 so yeah i think secondary school earlier i think secondary school at 16 but jam and i were jamming each other for like a few years and um and i had fun my four or five years in school if not six years th thanks to strike was fun like i did a lot of growing up i did a lot of learning and learning and things like that but I was, I still consider myself as being a child. Like I was a child then, I acted like a child, I thought like a child, I behaved like a child. So now that I'm way more mature, there are some things that I know now, like if only I knew it then. Like. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about in this video. And I think the first thing I will start with is that um, because of how I had to take a break right now from YouTube for like a month is the fact that I wish I took my mental health more serious 10 years ago like I didn't even know there was anything like mental health like you're either physically sick or not like that was the only health I could think about your body excuse me I did not understand anything about mental health and things like that so when I have breakdowns in quotes I don't understand what it is i don't i can't figure out i just feel okay i just call it mood swings let me put it like that i just assume it's mood swings and i know that there are people that used to be really close to me there that it annoys them like what kind of nonsense mood swing is this i did not know that you know it's like a breakdown like i just need to go back into my shell you know do some resting healing or whatever and you know come back out i do not know that i'll just i'll just know that i'm feeling sad i'm feeling angry the only thing i things i can think about are the things that are not working in my life even though i have so many things to be grateful for so i'll be feeling irritated i'll be snapping at any little thing i'll be taking out taking it out on people closest to me mostly the, whoever i'm dating at that point and you know and it made some people see me in a bad way, like I'm emotionally unstable, which is wrong. I'm not emotionally unstable. I just didn't know. I just didn't, I, I hadn't figured out my mental state then. So I will not say I was emotionally unstable. But now I understand myself better, understand my mood better, understand my mental state better and all that. So 
when I start feeling some type of way, I know what to do. I know that I just need to be quiet for a while. I don't need to be angry. I don't need to be irritated. I just need to be quiet. I just need to spend time with God. I just need to, you know, remind myself of all the many blessings around me just for a while and without annoying anybody, without taking it out on anybody, I start feeling better. Like, it doesn't even take that long anymore compared to when I was in my early 20s. So guys, another thing I'll say I know now that I wish I knew or something I do now that I wish I did is um, building a relationship with God for me. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the saying where they say, know God for yourself. Like, I did not know God for myself, kind of. I knew God on what was passed down to me. I was raised in a Christian home. Like, um, I just followed that routine of um, my family, we... we you know the time we pray every night the time we fasted every month just that whole routine and it was just my christian life just became a routine i was more obsessed with keeping to those routines than just enjoying a relationship with god and getting to know god for myself i was so obsessed with okay once you you get your pocket money for the month because i wasn't working then once you get your pocket money for the month you remove your tights um um, the first month of every year you do sacrificial I can't remember what it's called um, and all of that like okay the first three days of the month you pray and fast whether like whether you're starving whether you're in the mood to fast or not it felt like an obligation I, I, I feel guilty when I don't do all these things like it didn't matter whether it was coming from my heart it didn't matter whether I needed to do that I felt really guilty all the time I didn't do any of these things so I was I was serving god or i was I, or my relationship with god was based on what was handed over to me uh, until like my mid-20s when something happened in my book you know so i almost started living life like a new being so i was reading the bible like a new convert like someone that just just hearing about christianity i did not read it based on the perception that i already know of what god says i just read it for me and and that was when I even understand, understood what grace is and all that. So, and was when I now started to build a relationship with God for myself. Another thing that I wish I did, that I've done now, that I wish I did 10 years ago, was figure out who I really am, figure out what really excites me. Like I said, I'm an extroverted introvert or introverted extrovert. Like, but when I was a lot younger, I knew I loved to go out, and that's all I focused on. And that's what most of my friends vibed with. Most of the friends I had, what we had in common the most was how we liked to go out, have some fun, go swimming, go clubbing, go days, go for movies and all of that. And it's okay, but I did not entirely figure out who I was. I did not know that I was also the kind of person who liked to stay by myself. Like I enjoyed being by myself. I did not know that. And I always felt like something was missing, but I could not figure out why something was missing. Like I was not spending time with myself myself. I'm still figuring out things about myself. And that is only possible because I spend time with myself. I spent even though yes, I'm with my daughter two four seven. All this I spend time with myself, I spend time with myself. I'm always with my child. But she's a baby, so it's not like she's messing with my alone time no when she's sleeping or even as she's playing then another thing i'll say that i did not that i know now that i did not know then was how important it is to invest guys i did not make any form of investment like i'll keep my money savings account i was i was not i'm not prudent rather i was not prudent right now i don't even know where i stand but i wasn't prudent then like i was saving my money like crazy like i remember back then in school i was okay with just having one handbag or two max Right now, I don't even know how many I have. But yeah, I was not. I was prudent then. I was not going about spending money like a crazy person. But I was keeping my money in savings account. So I just kept my money inside bank account like that. No form of interest. Well, they give interest, but you and I know how little the interest can be and all that. So I wish I invested financial investments. And second kind of investment I wish I did then was, you know, self development i wish i did a lot of that too when i was younger because i had all the time i had all the time to do online courses to go for trainings and all of that but no i only focused on school that was the only form of education i was getting which was wrong but now that i'm a lot older i wish i had i have that time but i don't have that time anymore like all the holidays between semesters during strike i had so much time in my early 20s that even if it's not anything academic related like all these online courses and all of that 
I could have maybe gone for makeup classes. I mean, see my life now. Gone for makeup, baking, sewing. No, there's just so many things you can learn. And like they say, no knowledge is wasted. But no, I was just there. It's only school. Once the semester is over or we're on strike, I don't sit down. Relax. So yeah, I wish I invested in I wish I knew when I was younger is that it's okay to be single. It's really okay to be single. Because I remember I was single a lot though. I was single a lot, but I did not know it was okay. Like deep down, I was thinking, am I single because I have bad character? <laughs> and I remember one of my friends, she said this thing. She does not know what that statement did to me, but she was talking on the job like that. I said something about someone and yeah, I tend to, you know, yap people. So I said something about someone and she laughed and said, No wonder you're seeing with your mouth. Now, why you, that's why nobody wants to date you. Hey, I laughed though. I think I gave her a savage response, but I, I can't remember. But that thing rang in my head for months. Like, hey, I'll not be looking at people. I said, I'm not ugly now. It's not as if guys are not checking me. Please don't get me wrong. Though. But not the kind of guys I wanted to be with. So I now said, Is it because of my character that the guys that I really want to be with don't want to be with me like have I used mouse to pursue them or what and you know I start to think that yeah something is really wrong with me but nothing was wrong with me I mean I had standards and I didn't want to lower it for anybody so now when I think about it I'm like why was I thinking something was wrong with me then I mean it's completely okay to be single I had so much fun and freedom when I was single I'm not saying in a relationship is bondage and all that but you know what I mean now any married person right now will understand what I mean like I was not as in that freedom there's a freedom that comes with being single and all that so yes I wish I knew it was okay then to be single and I won't even though I enjoyed it but I would not have allowed myself to have all those thoughts that I had once in a while because you know I was single. Then another thing I know now that I do not know then is that peace should, my peace of mind should be my priority, not someone else's. I'm sorry, I'm not. I hope I don't sound, you know, selfish. But my peace of mind should be my priority, not the next person. It is your own peace of mind is your own problem. My own peace of mind is my own problem. But I didn't know that then, so I was always so obsessed with not hurting people's feelings. Let me try and give you an instance. Let's say, for example, now, um, a, a friend of mine, a girl, tells me, oh, she's supposed to go on a date with someone, but, and he says she should come with a friend of hers, and, you know, she doesn't want to go alone, since, you know, I should please go along. At first, I was interested. I said yes, okay? But by the time it was now time, I didn't feel like going again. But just because I did not want to hurt her feelings, I agreed to go. And I was miserable the entire time because my mind was not there. I wanted to be in my house and things like that. So, but I did that a lot when I was young. Like, I just don't want to break people's heart. I didn't want to break people's heart. So I'll just do anything to, you know, please them. Not like I was breaking, I was committing crime or doing anything immoral. But, you know, I just, I don't, I don't even want to call myself a people pleaser because anybody that knew me when I was, that day, you know that I was not a people pleaser, but I let a lot of things go just so that I'm not hurt your feelings. Even with my sisters, my siblings, even with closest friends, especially with my siblings and closest friends, you will say something that hurts me, and I have something in my mouth to say back to you, but because I don't want to hurt you, I will not say that. But I will end up spending hours being pissed at myself that I could not defend myself just because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I am not in that place anymore. Like, I am, I've outgrown that fear or feeling of not wanting to hurt anybody's feelings. If you say something to me that breaks me or is wrong or it's, it's disrespectful, let me use that word. If you say anything to me that is disrespectful, I will return the favor. I'm not trying to disrespect you, but I will defend myself. However that makes you feel, it is now your problem. As long as I have defended myself. Because what am I teaching my kids if I cannot defend myself? So yeah, then I used to make other people's peace of mind their pri my priority. But now it's my own peace of mind. I say what will make me feel good. I say what will make me be proud of myself. I say and do what will make me proud. Another thing that I know now that I wish I knew then was that time wasted can never be again. Not like I did not know that then, but I did not implement it with living my best life. 
I don't know, I had this habit of postponing fun. Oh, come here, let's go. I'll say, mm, I'll come late. Oh, I'll come next year. Oh, next holiday. Oh, this, oh, that. And at the end, I won't be able to, as in, I'll miss out on that opportunity. I wish I didn't do that when I was that young. Because now, even we can get away, self, I cannot get. Like, I've been praying for my mom to come back for how many months now so that I can just be getting a day away just by myself. So, yes. I wish I knew then that my 30s would be completely different. My 30s, I'll have so much more on my plate, my family, as a wife, as a mother, um, my career, my business, go go to go. But when I was that age, what did I have? Just school. Just school. That's all I had. Like, I wasn't working. I know some people worked in school, but I didn't do that. I was not working. It's just school. So why was I postponing activities? Why was I postponing trip? There's one trip that I postponed that still pains me to today. A cousin of mine invited me to Uganda. <clears throat> he and his wife invited me to Uganda when they were there. And I said, eh, let me, um, let's, have, the next holiday is longer. We'll come. Before the next holiday came, he was transferred to another country that I cannot go to, Russia. So that's how I missed out on that trip. Right now, I will take even a weekend to Ghana. Ghana. So yeah, I wish I enjoyed my 20s more. I wish I did not postpone any fun, anything. Just go, enjoy, let loose, knowing that. You know it will not last forever i also wish i created more memories with my friend i won't say created more memories because any other memory creation more than the kind of fun i had with my friends i would have lost focus because i had so much fun with my closest friends but what i wish i did was document our memories more right so yes i wish i did that more if i knew that okay we will not have this friendship this tight forever so I wish I documented it more because the closest people to me when I was in my early 20s, like closest, closest, even the ones here in Botaco with me, we go a year or more without seeing each other. There are some that I've not seen since I had Nora and Nora is 18 months old. So yes, I wish I documented memories with my friends. I wish I hugged them. I wish I held them closer knowing that, yo, in a couple of years, excuse me, our lives will be so different and, you know, we will not have what we have now. I have a particular friend and shout out to you and if you're watching this video Anne and i were so close like we're seen every day we're in the same department we do not live far from each other so we're seen every day our lives were so inter whatever the word is that's how close we were but now we barely see i know yes we're in two different cities but who knew who knew that we'd be so far apart i mean my daughter does not know Anne. like seriously Considering what our relationship was like then, my best friend, even though she was in Kawaba, I was in Port Harcourt, we were always taking trips to see each other. But now, where well, did at least I, I mean, not I even manages to know that one small. But yeah, like I wish I, I took my friendship with all my friends seriously, knowing that it's not like I didn't take it serious, knowing that we will not be this close forever, and um. The last thing that I wish I knew then is that um, working out, exercise is not for fat people. No, 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 no. I was really skinny in my early 20s. Well, I didn't start off skinny, but by the time I got into university, I became very skinny because I was not taking what I was eating serious. I was not sleeping well. I just wasn't taking care of myself. It's called long story short. But I wish. I still made it a habit to work out, make it a lifestyle, make it part of my, you know, just make it a routine. So I probably won't be struggling the way I'm struggling now. Like I struggle with exercise now. Yo, I do it though. I try. These are the things that I know now or I do now that I wish I knew or did 10 years ago when I was 20, 21, 22, and maybe up to 24. I think it was like 25, 26, I said to mature well. <laughs> I said to mature properly. So yes, and please, if you're hearing a child screaming, it's my daughter, she's trying to get my attention. Tell me what you know now that you wish you knew 10 years ago, whatever your age is, even if you're just 20, tell me what you know now that you wish you knew when you were 10. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.